Hi everyone. As a part of series of videos to discuss the fundamentals related to investing and money management, in the last video we had discussed about active, uh, actively managed funds and passive mutual funds. Today I am going to discuss about ETFs. What are ETFs? ETF stands for Exchange Traded Funds, and they are very much similar to passive mutual funds. So just like passive mutual funds. Um, ETFs track index. There is not much role for fund manager apart from doing some minor ad adjustment to bring the performance of ETF uh, to the index. Or as and when some uh, changes are done related to securities in index, the corresponding changes may be need to done in ETF. So that's the only uh, role of fund manager. Apart from that. And these kind of functions can be very much automated. So there is not much role for fund manager in ETFs or passive mutual funds. And that's why the expense ratio for ETFs and passive mutual funds is very low. The main difference that's there between ETFs and passive mutual funds is in terms of tradability and price determination. In passive mutual funds, just like uh, other uh, mutual funds, the NAV is determined. End of the day, end of the trading day. Whereas in ETFs, they are just uh, traded like any other stocks or other securities in the market in the stock market, and uh, based on the de uh, demand and supply, the uh, and based on the index tracking, the uh, price is determined. So uh, a passive mutual fund, when sold, are uh, sold back to the mutual fund company. And when bought, they are bought from the mutual fund company, and they can be mutual fund uh, units can be held. Passive mutual fund units can be held without a DMAT account also. However, in case of ETFs, a DMAT uh, is a must requirement, and uh, the units of uh, ETFs can be sold uh, during the uh, through the mechanism of trading. So there has to be a buyer to uh, buy the units. And a seller to sell the units, and then the matchmaking happens uh, just like any other trading happening in the uh, market. Now, the ETFs track the index. Now that index can be tracking any underlying. It could be uh, index related to stocks or equities, or it could be multi-asset kind of index. It could be commodities index, or it could be a bond index. So correspondingly, ETFs are there for equity. And for uh, other index indices, and there are um, uh, ETFs available for commodities like for gold. There are uh, gold ETFs, and there are ETFs there for uh, debt instruments. For example, there are liquid bees for liquid fund equivalent uh, ETFs. And correspondingly, based on the underlying asset class, uh, their taxability is there. Um, so the capital gain taxation. For equity related ETFs will be like just like the other stocks. Uh, the holding period, if it exceeds uh, one year, it will be considered as long term capital gain. If it is less than one year, it will be short term capital gain. In the subsequent videos, I'll be covering the capital gain taxation for various asset classes. Now, for debt instruments uh, related ETFs, uh, just like any other debt instrument. The if the holding period exceeds three years, then it is considered long term holding. If it is less than three years, then it is considered short term holding. And based on that, the taxation uh, rules vary uh, based on the short term holding or the long term holding. That's the main difference between ETF and passive mutual fund. Um, the benefit which ETF brings is like obviously just like uh, passive mutual fund, they can be uh, they are very low cost instruments. And they can be used in some complex option trading related strategies like uh, providing cover. Uh, there are covered call uh, options uh, strategies. Uh, so using index ETFs, those kind of strategies uh, can be used. However, that's a next level, a bit complicated topic. Uh, as and when we reach uh, option trading or discussing about options, I'll discuss more that more in detail. Uh, the reason I brought this up is like uh, this is something which can be done only using ETFs and not uh, could be done using uh, passive mutual funds. 
So let me know if you have further more questions related to ETFs or if I missed out some point to cover and uh, put them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to address those uh, queries and join my mega money community. Uh, I'll be happy to for you to join mega money community. I will teach you money management basics uh, starting from the basics and related to mindset, how to set up system for your money management and how to bring it to execution by uh, addressing various investment strategies and also the risk management part and uh, how to uh, take it to the execution from right from strategizing to execution part. So that's all for now. Follow me for more such videos. Thank you. Bye.